In the world of generative AI, tools like ChatGPT have become a household name renowned for their ability to answer questions in natural language using large language models. But have you explored AWS's generative AI offerings tailored towards extracting insights from your organization's data and not just the broader internet? In this video, we'll dive into the AWS services that harness the power of generative AI and help you select the right one to chat with your data depending on your use case. Now, before we dive into our main topic, this video has been sponsored by DoubleCloud. DoubleCloud's platform is dedicated to saving the efforts and time of data engineers by maintaining data infrastructure. For Airflow users, you might find their new service especially interesting. DoubleCloud is introducing their managed Apache Airflow service designed to accelerate your CI-CD process. Airflow via DoubleCloud gives you well-arranged infrastructure that includes regular software updates, automatic scaling, and continuous monitoring. If you need a tailor-made solution, DoubleCloud accepts custom Docker images so you can easily incorporate your workflow-specific libraries into Airflow running on the cluster. You can even deploy their managed Airflow in your own AWS account. Now, this service is currently in early access and you can try it out for free by going to the website in the description below. From there, select Airflow service and fill out your details. Click on the link below to begin and become part of the DoubleCloud community. All right, so you wanna have some sort of chat interface so that you can ask questions to an LLM and in the response, it will include answers using your organization's data. For example, instead of emailing HR to learn about what your company's leave of absence policy is or manually searching through the 200 page onboarding guide yourself, perhaps you just wanna let generative AI do the heavy lifting for you and give you the answer. So what are our options here to do this on AWS? So there isn't just one generative AI service that can help you chat with your data. We have multiple. All of these services leverage RAG architectures, which allow us to combine the power of LLMs with our organization's data. So the first question you want to ask yourself is, do you need to develop a custom interface and require implementing prompt engineering, or are you okay using an out of the box solution? Well, if you want full control over the developing of a custom interface and need a solution that supports custom prompts, then you would want to use Amazon Bedrock to achieve this. With Amazon Bedrock, you have full customization over the generative AI solution you are building. You have control to select various LLM models and have flexibility of trying different ones to see how they perform for answering your questions. You can even create custom foundation models and import existing ones from an Amazon S3 bucket or Amazon SageMaker. Now, in terms of cost, you only pay for model inference and customization so you can build scalable generative AI applications. When using Amazon Bedrock to build your application, you can bring your own vector database, which will include your embeddings, or you can let Amazon Bedrock create it for you through the knowledge base feature to build your own vector database. At the time of making this video, Amazon Bedrock supports automatically configuring a vector database for you from S3 with OpenSearch serverless. If you already have an existing vector database that you want to leverage, this feature also supports pointing your own database using either an existing OpenSearch serverless vector engine, Amazon Aurora, Pinecone, Redis Cloud, and MongoDB Atlas. Once we are happy with how our LLM is performing to answer questions from our organization's data, we can connect this to any front-end application that can interact with these Amazon Bedrock APIs. But this part is on you to develop. Now let's say you don't really need a custom application and you are looking for an out of the box solution to chat with your enterprise data. The next question you should ask is, do you need the generative AI to provide your responses with graphs and charts based on your natural query language? If the answer is no, then Amazon Q Business is a service you would want to use. Amazon Q Business comes with a deployable front end web application experience, so you don't need to develop your own chat interface to chat with your data. Amazon Q Business respects existing access control based on user permissions, so people using the application will only be able to ask questions from data sources which they would have access to. It can connect with over 40 popular enterprise applications and document repositories. You can even connect it to websites as sources of information, and it will handle web scraping for you, which is pretty convenient and a time saver. Aside from just answering your user questions, it also plugs into enterprise applications, so you can get it to, let's say, open up tickets in ServiceNow or Jira on your behalf. Now, this video is not going to cover all the features this service has to offer, so you're probably going to want to do more research. Unlike Amazon Bedrock, pricing is per user. At the time of making this video, it costs $3 per user for Amazon Q Business Lite, while $20 per user for Amazon Q Business Pro. 
There's also index pricing, which basically is the cost of storing your knowledge base, which powers its conversational responses. The Amazon Q Business Pro license unlocks some advanced features, such as gaining insights on your uploaded files, the ability to share apps easily with Amazon Q apps, and extended capabilities with custom plugins. It also allows you to gain insights with Amazon Q QuickSight, which brings us to our last service I want to talk about. Now, let's say you want the ability to ask questions of your data and get graphics as a response. For example, you might have a question such as show me my store sales by location. Well, then we would want to use Amazon Q in Amazon QuickSight. Amazon QuickSight is Amazon's BI tool and generative AI has been embedded into this application recently. With Amazon Q in Amazon QuickSight, we can use natural language to ask questions of our data and receive answers. This can be data coming from a database or data from CSV or Parquet files in a data lake, for example. For example, it could provide us with the sum of sales for a store as a metric to be used on a dashboard or visualize sales over time represented as a bar graph. It also has an interesting feature called data stories where you can describe the data story you need and it will generate an analysis based on visuals that you have previously created for your data set. For example, write me a marketing strategy that uses regional sales trends to uncover opportunities that increases revenue. Using these Amazon Q generative AI features in Amazon QuickSight can potentially help reduce dashboard development time and help the business get the answers they need faster. So I hope this video was helpful to guide you on selecting the right generative AI service to chat with your data in AWS depending on your use case. Thanks so much for watching, and if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing for more videos on working with your data in AWS. Thanks again, and see you next time.